Hi, I'm Robert Reed, CTO of Datical. Today we are going to cover how to create your first migration using Liquibase functions. Now, Liquibase uses chain sets to um, make changes to the database. Great name, right? And so we have a whole bunch of them in Liquibase. So if you go to liquibase.org documentation slash changes, um, you're going to see a bunch of them. Uh, you can also just go to uh, documentation to get here as well. So you'll see that we have uh, a bunch here for Liquibase Pro and then also for Liquibase Open Source um, as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a table using Liquibase today. I have an existing database. I've got Postgres running in AWS. And what we're going to do is create our initial change log. We're going to baseline this. And so I have dBeaver here, which is uh, connected to my database. And I have this one new table there. And so if we generated a change log, we would expect to see it in there. So uh, of course, I've also set up my Liquibase properties file uh, with all the connection information. And so I'm going to run Liquibase. Uh, generate change log and this will put out um, a change log.xml uh, we could use JSON we could use YAML if we like but we're going to do XML here uh, you can use those by simply changing the extension in the uh, properties file so now that we've created our change log uh, we can go over here to my editor and take a look at it um, and so we'll see that we have um, uh, new tables there with all the information about the table. There's nothing else in the database. And so once I create this change log, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, change log sync. I need to tell Liquibase that um, uh, assert that this change log has already been run. And so the command for that is going to be change log sync. And what this is going to do is create a couple of tables inside the database. Um, and we'll go ahead and head on over to dBeaver and check them out. So the first, let's go ahead and hit refresh here. The first is going to be database change log lock. So Liquibase only allows one person, one user at a time to, be, to update the database. That is a good thing. Um, and also we have database change log, which has a history of all the changes um, that um, are part of the, uh, uh, that have been persisted in database. So if we look at data here, we'll see that um, we've got information about the change that was persisted. So creating the table, those sorts of things. And so the next thing we should probably do is, well, let's make a change. And the easiest thing to do is we're going to just copy this existing change set and create a new one. Uh, but I'm going to change a couple things. One, I'm going to update the author here. And I'm going to update the ID. And you can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to call it JIRA278. Let's, let's pretend I have a ticket here. Um, and then We'll have another, well, let's get a better name, another new table. <laughs> All right, we'll save that. Of course, being a good developer, I did check this into source code control. Let's just, let's just pretend that happened. And so the next thing we're going to do is now that I have it there, um, I am going to update. And what this is going to do is compare the changelog.xml file to what is in database changelog. And it's going to say, oh, we, we need to run that second one. And it looks like it has. So let's go back and look at dBeaver. We'll take a, a peek at um, the, uh, the table here, look at the data. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up again. And we'll go to data and oh, look at that. It's there. The other thing that's pretty interesting is that um, I should have my new table there too. And there it is, another new table. So what we've seen here is how to start from existing database and using Liquibase functions to generate a change log 
to sync that change log and then add a liquid base function to add a table. Um, as I said earlier, there are a whole host of other things that you can add and they're listed here on this page. Thank you very much for watching.